I can told him, and he's not crying. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Hello. Oh. Good morning. Technically afternoon. Well, no. It's noon, <laughs> so I don't know what that is. Um, Dwin's been craving some hot dogs. Well, not just a hot dog. He's been craving chili dogs. So I don't want wiener schnitzel. So we're at um, Duff's Dogs here in Carmel Mountain. We're gonna get some hot dogs. They have chili dogs, Chicago dogs, a bunch of different kind of dogs. So we'll see how that goes. Chili cheese dog is gonna go in there. Chili cheese dog in there. <laughs> <laughs> Some geek found a book that he wanted to get. So he's going to get it. So today, Jeremy's bringing down his truck, and then we're gonna take it over to Subscape K and get that one all set up and ready to go. Uh, at the same time, they asked us if we wanted to invite some of our other escape room friends. So we actually ended up inviting uh, Jason from Steel and Escape, Brandon West uh, from Top Tier, uh, Jim Norcus from Locked Adventures, and Roy and Arwen from Mind Fox. All right, so we're back. Uh, I'm gonna grab these guys right now. Workshop update. Workbench one, uh, storage up there. CNC workstation with lighting. This workbench is on wheels, actually moves around. Uh, we're gonna actually integrate the saw into here so we can actually do long pieces, like four by eight pieces here. Uh, paint storage, miscellaneous hardware, screws, and then kind of the main workbench, all the hand tools. This is our new workspace. And I'm also still working on the electronics room. We woke up way too early this morning. <laughs> Our good friends Kenny and Deb uh, invited us out to play some games today uh, and there's this game that just came out by our buddies uh, from Breaking Point uh, called Headcase and everyone's like salivating at the mouth for it because apparently if you guys have played their Whitmore Manor, uh, Whitmore Manor is absolutely gorgeous. It's one of the best looking sets I've seen next to the Mind Trap games. If you like the Haunted Mansion over at Disneyland, Whitmore Manor is for you. It's an amazing game. But since Breaking Point is all the way up in Rancho Cucamonga and we're out here in San Diego, it's about a one and a half, one, two, hours. two hour drive from here. So, uh, Deb has her 11 o'clock game, so we're leaving here a little bit earlier to get some gas, but by 9 o'clock so we can get there on time to play the game. And then we have two other games planned today. Yep, getting some gas, um, getting some caffeine. I'm gonna try to stop by McDonald's because I want to get something to eat. Yep. All right. We'll see you guys there. We just got to uh, Ranch Cucamonga. We actually got some gifts for the guys. We're gonna make our way in right now. Uh, surprise them, give them their uh, Christmas presents, which is like a month late, but you know, I haven't seen them for like almost a few months now. If at all, even like last year Christmas, I think that's the last time I actually saw them. So it's gonna be kind of crazy. Kenny's birthday. <laughs> we just finished Headcase. It's probably one of the best games I've seen in a long time. Like, I mean, like next to our buddies from Mind Trap, but like these two, these two locations, hands down, some of the best games you guys have ever seen. We actually played the original Patient 17, and Patient 17 was phenomenal. This just worlds above it, and they've learned so much, and they're actually so so good at what they do. Can you see down? Yeah, you can see down. <laughs> I can't see. Hey. So yeah, okay, really? we can all do that first. Oh yeah. my god. There you go. Hey, Dad. 
See what I have to endure? <laughs> Okay, so what was your favorite part of the game? For me, it's like the immersion. As yeah. long as, as long as immersion is like that always up there. That one puzzle that when that aha moment came yeah. after we tried a lot of other stuff. Uh, I, I like the communication part. Yeah. That the phone was great. You go to... <laughs> <laughs> I like that they didn't have much paperwork as they did that. Yeah. No. It's a puzzle. Good. The puzzle, do you know the puzzle? It's just doing them and... Yeah. yeah. And just putting them together, basically. Yeah. They did a great job of pulling it all together. Yeah. Yeah. All those different elements put together yeah. created such a good movie. Also, the intro was like a oh straight up movie. Like, yeah. and, and the thing that really impressed me about it is I see a lot of them, they drop from the ceiling. Yeah. That didn't, it dropped from underneath the TV. Yeah. So yeah. You know, it was perfect. I think that's, that's why I love, I love immersion. Yeah. You can't do this in virtual games. Yay, we did it. We did it. Yeah. What? Taking a short little break, we actually found this little spot called Haven City Market. Market. It's like a um, Anaheim Packing District or Liberty Station in San Diego. A, a few places that we've seen before, like Cauldron, uh, Fire Wings. It's your usual typical like gastro food. I was happy about um, uh, Belly and Snout because I've been wanting to eat at the the one in like downtown LA. So I, I'm glad I was able to try it here. We just finished a short little dinner. We're on our way to our last game for the night. Uh, which is at Mind Suite out in Upland, California. Uh, we've been there before, uh, like what they do. Uh, I actually saw a preview of this game the last time we were there. Uh, we did the pirate theme last time. They actually showed us a preview of the game we're about to play today, which was still in its construction phase, which was, it's now called Argo, but at the time he just said it was a steampunk spaceship or ship. Yeah, ship. It was yeah. a ship. So we're on our way there. It's only three, three miles away from here. So I get inside, we're talking to the owner, and they're like, so you're booked for next week, right? And I was like, no, tonight at 5.30. She's like, I think you're booked for next week. And I was like, uh-oh. So I go and check the email. I was wondering why I didn't get the reminder email. It's because the reminder email is going to come to me next Saturday. I accidentally booked for the 24th, um, and they're pretty much booked out tonight. The next game is going to be at 5.30, but Deb and Kenny had to go. They had games booked for later on in downtown LA, so... There was no, there was no way we can actually make it out to downtown LA tonight. Plus, um, we have some things to do tomorrow morning a little earlier. So, yeah, or well, we're gonna have to plan another trip to come back to check this game out. This oh. is why he doesn't plan escape rooms and why I should do everything. Oh.